Now, you don't always have to create a movie from scratch. There are a number of themes that come with iMovie 10, and this tutorial will show you how you can create a movie using a theme. And it'll also give you an overview of all of the themes so you can see if any of them take your fancy. So I'm in an event called Ballooning. I'm going to create a new project using a theme. So I want to go to New and Movie. And this time I'm going to create a theme. Now there are a number of themes here. Usually I would do no theme, but you can select any of these themes and they all have their own music and their own transitions, introduction and, and conclusion. So an intro and outro, they give you some common elements that you can't change. So if you are, wanted to use comic book, for example, and you didn't like the font for the comic book uh, intro, you can't change it. So themes are very restrictive, more so than no theme where you've got a bit more opportunity to create your own. So I'm just going to pick comic book. And if you click that, it gives you an idea about what each of them look like. And all of these I've put at the end of this tutorial. So if you want to see all these videos of all the different themes, just turn that off, uh, just go to the end of this tutorial where you can see them all in a row. And I'm going to pick comic book and create. Give it a title. And store it in the event. And OK. Select the project. And now add some clips to it. So in the events, I've actually saved the clips that I want to use as favorites. And these are all the clips. Save me having to go and search through and pick bits and pieces out that I want to use. So I've already done that. I've saved them, rated them as favorites. So I'm just going to select the favorites. Double click it. Drag the first one on. And as you put the first clip in, it already gives you the opening title sequence. So here's the footage, here's the, the titles up here, and I can change that. Double click it and put in the end that I forgot to put in. I can, so I can change the title here. I can change this one issue and the number, so I can change that, but I can't change anything else. Uh, it has, this clip has its own sound, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to use the, the sound that comes with the theme. So I'm going to just turn that off. So that's the first one. The second clip. Let's just put a few in. And as you keep adding clips, this one is the last clip directed by. And again, I can go into directed by and change those words. So instead of directed by, I can say something else, put in something else here. That's the only changes that I can do. There's nothing as it says, as it says here, they cannot be adjusted. So you, 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 you're stuck with whatever it comes with. That's the restrictions. I'm going to turn the sound off. And I've got to put a transition between each of these themes. So when I click in transitions, there are some theme transitions. So I can use the ordinary transitions. But if I try to, then I get this message. Because automatic titles and transitions are turned on. Because automatic content's been turned on. And if I uh, want to use my own, then I have to turn off automatic content. So if I do that, then I can put my own transition in. So I could either put a cross blur, or I could put one of these theme transitions. So let's put a theme transition in. And again, you can change the, the uh, timing of it. So maybe I want it as uh, 1.5 seconds. I'll just, just play it. Now, the theme transitions look effective because they're just part of the overall you know, theme that you picked. But you could also intersperse those with some other transitions as well. Make them a bit longer because that didn't really look like it was enough time. So make it 2.5. And remember, it takes time off the clip, so I'm going to put that back. And it looks uh, pretty good. Then we can add some more clips in. So go back to the events. 
and add more clips in. I want it before the directed one. Now, as I've turned off automatic content, uh, I have to keep moving things because this, when you have automatic content turned on, this is the last one. So I can put more transitions. Select a transition, another comic book one, and just put, try them all out. That one in, third one in. And then the play. I mean, as a whole, it's got some, some quite positive things to using a theme if you can put other things within it. So I'd rather have the ability to put my own transitions in. So if I have another clip, so take that clip and put this one in between it before the uh, directed and put in a different transition. Add in a swap. So you can have both transitions if you turn off the automatic content. Now the music, you can add the music that's applicable to your theme. Going into sound effects and select theme music. That has most of the themes there. So if I wanted to listen to them, I might put the news one in and drag it down to the bottom channel where the background music is. Let's just play a bit of it. And you can decrease the volume if it's too much. Then I could also add in a, a sound effect. So there is some ballooning sound effects up here. I'm going to take a little bit of that, and drag that underneath and attach it to that clip. So we'll play it. You get the sound effect as well as the noise. You can add and delete music and sound effects as you would with a no theme project. Now what follows the, uh, the rest of this tutorial is examples of all of the 10 different themes and the music that goes with them. So you can have a look at all of those and see if any of those are useful to you. So that's all for this tutorial.